All right, guys, thanks for coming. You're Today, we're going to talk about Google Forms. So this is, we're going to go over how to create a Google Form, and you can follow along on your Chromebook. And then we will create one together at the end. OK? All right. So first, what you want to do is you want to go to the Waffle. And you can go to Drive, and you can go to New Google Form, or you can go to the Waffle and just go straight to Google Forms. So whichever is easiest for you. So. All right. Next is titling it. So Google Forms, I'll tell you a little bit about it really quick, is it's kind of like a survey or creating a worksheet for your classroom. So instead of like just a presentation on this one, if you're teaching a certain subject and you want to see what they all know, you can do like a five question form and they can answer it. Or you can even make a game out of it and do five, 10, 15 question form and put it on your Promethean board and they can answer as groups. So it's more of um, like you can create either homework or a test on it, or you can, like I said, I use it more, I would use it more for games personally, like, like a trivia game. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of what it is. And then the other thing you can do, um, I haven't done this yet because I'm so stuck on Survey Monkey, but the other thing you can do is you can create surveys and quizzes and send them out to other people. So for like preschool, we are required to send out like a parent questionnaire of how they think the program is going and what changes and stuff. So this year, I plan to use Google Forms and send it out on my Remind app. That way, I don't have to print anything again. It's just sending them a link. So it's like my new, it's my new mantra. Forget paper. <laughs> okay, so you want to create the questions, and then there's different things you can do with these questions, which is really cool. So you can put the questions. So if you're sending this to a bunch of kids and you don't want them to sit there and tell each other that A is number one and B is number two. You can drag to reorder the questions, or there's a shuffle button. And once you're done, you can shuffle them, and it will switch them. So you can shuffle it and then share it to a student. Shuffle it, share it to a student. Shuffle it, share it to a student. And then they all don't have the same question. Or I wouldn't shuffle it. Like if you have 20 students, I wouldn't shuffle it 20 times. So maybe just shuffle it like four and send out four different tests. Mm -hmm. That way it kind of changes it. But at the same time, it has the same questions and answers. So that's really cool. Let's go ahead. So <laughs> this is the sharing and, and deciding how you're going to organize this. This is what's cool about Google Forms. So after you collect it, this is how like you're going to get your data back. So it will even send your data all the way to Google Sheets or Excel. Mm -hmm. So you can see it there. So what you'll do is you'll collect the email addresses, and that's how you'll send it out to them. And then you can collect all your responses by email. Or you can do like um the response receipt, which is where it shows that they opened it. Um, and then you have like the restrict organization uses. So this would be if you changed it to like everybody with a Hamilton email only, you know, that kind of thing. Um, and then you can also limit the responses. So once they open the form and they do the response and they submit it, they can't open it again and answer again. So you could change that setting. And that's handy for if you're like, whenever you do your 10 class buzz buck party and you want to just see what everyone wants to do for the class party, that's handy so that somebody can't sit there and choose pajama day or whatever it is 10 times. So because once they open it, they can only do it once. And then um, the other thing you can do is you can, you'll be able to see all of it on a chart or like I said, in Google Excel. And that's the part that's really cool about Google Forms. Um, so. You send the responses to a spreadsheet. So you have to decide how you want it. This will create a graph for you, like a bar graph or a pie graph, pie chart, or it will just send all of the numbers to Excel. So if you're wanting to know, like, like you know how we do those slows, those SLOs, what you can do is you can do your test this way, your pretest, and you can send it to Google um, Excel or Google Sheets. And then it will automatically tell you like your percentages of how many got each one right. Oh, wow. Yeah, oh, I like you that. can do that. I haven't set that up for mine because I teach preschool, but <laughs> <laughs> but I could if I turn it over great and it works out. Um, to open up your spreadsheets in forms, um, whenever we go in there, we'll look at it. But there's a form and there's a show some summary of responses and see how they're kind of showing you here. They have the summary <coughs> and then. This shows the whole class or the whole group that you sent it to or all of my parents or whatever. And then you can also choose individual. And so whenever you choose the individual one, it will just show you what one student answered. Okay? So I think we're ready. Yeah. We're ready to create our own. Okay. All right. So 
I'm going to show you guys how to do this now. So I'm going to go to the waffle and I'm going to choose Google Forms, which is not there on this computer. This is totally not where I want to be right now. Hold on, guys. Total foul here. I'm going to go back to slides and click on it that way. Okay, here we go. <laughs> All right, so Google Forms is purple, and we're going to create a new form. And you can actually go to Blank or go to Blank Quiz, and we're going to go to Blank Quiz. So up here, you're going to type in whatever your name of it is. So we could just do like math lesson two. And then right here would be our first question. So you could do like, what is, I'm doing totally simple math here, five plus two. And then for option one, you could put in five. And option two, put in seven. And option three, we'll put in oops, three. And then for option four, it's uh, four. All right, so that's how you can do it as a multiple choice question. Or you can change up here, you can do like the paragraph or the short answer where you make like a story. You know, like the bear had five apples and his mom took one, how many is left, that kind of stuff. You can type all that out. But what I wanted to show you is how we get to collect the data. So here's that. And then you have to choose on here which is the correct answer for the form so that they know which one is right. Um, so I think it's on. I need to see here. Oh, I don't want to shuffle yet. OK, hold on. There we go. OK, answer key. Click on the answer key and then you want to put your question, your answer in. Okay. And then you can even give feedback, but I'm not going to do that. Now we want to go over here to the plus to add our next question. So the next one, and you can get more challenging, but we'll do two so that we have two different questions. So what is seven minus two this time? Multiple choice still. So five, three, nine and one and then go to answer key to choose your answer okay and then up here's your where you get like your responses so if i send this out up here to send and you're going to type in all of your kids' emails or whatever it is that you're creating send if it's a questionnaire to teachers type all that in and then <laughs> this add collaborators is if there's like two teachers that's going to check it or grade it or um, or if you like all three of your grade level teachers you guys could all send out the same one and put every teacher on there and then that way you guys are all sending it and being able to see it and see everybody's responses and then you can even see your data for all three classrooms and see you know what I mean like where all mm -hmm. of the kids are at in that grade level so that would be cool too um, so then add your um, recipients who you're sending them to send it and then once you send it and get it back you'll go into the same thing but you'll go into responses and it will show you however many kids have responded or taken it or however many people have looked at it and then after you've received responses the green spot right here is what sends it over to a spreadsheet so that was what sends it over to Google Sheets and if you want to convert it over to Microsoft Excel you still can um, and then Send it over there, and whenever like you go over there, then you can decide whether you want to turn it into a graph or a chart or compare it. Or you could even, I don't know, some of me says it would be even cool if you sent it home to parents and not everybody's answers, but just, hey, look, here's where we're at on this unit. So this, you know, we're moving on to the next or we need to stay on it, that kind of thing. 
Um, but I use, I'm going to use mine for the survey response for what they, like their responses of what to improve in preschool and that kind of thing. So that's what I will use mine for. So, so yeah, so that's kind of a little bit of brief of Google Forms. Nicely so, done. Thank you.